Let me give you maybe one example of each. Okay. Of the type of woman and the type of man you should not marry. I don't know whether you should begin with the man or the woman. Once and a woman, ladies first. Okay. <laughs> the first type of woman, any single man watching me that they should not marry is the gold digger. Why? In our, in our generation, uh, many women are not looking for love. They are looking for help, which is a, which is a very bad error. Repeat, and as a, please. Uh, repeat, please. Many women mm. are not looking for love. Uh -huh. They are looking for help. There you go. So they are not in love with your heart. They are in love with your hand. So when they come into a relationship, they just come purposely because of what they can get financially from the relationship. There is nothing wrong with giving to somebody you love. But the problem I have with the gold digger, and I want to, and this is what I tell women, don't be a gold digger, be a gold carrier. The difference between a gold digger and a gold carrier is this. Because Obina, when we are getting married, I got married two years ago, the only thing you should bring to the table should not be a bad certificate. When you are getting married, even as a woman, you should also be able to bring some title deed. Logbooks, well, company, well. business. Hey. You know, Preach. we should uh, have a generation of women that don't just draw eyebrows, but women that can draw <laughs> eyebrows and business plans. You know, so we do both. So anyway, the first category. <laughs> oh my God! I'm a cousin and I draw eyebrows. I draw plan. Yeah, she should draw both hey. eyebrows and business plans. But I want to say, Mangati, we ask him what I bring to the table. He say, I'm the table. My style is deadly, deadly. <laughs> 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 what do you think about listen to me uh, uh, i just need to tell you this okay there's a clear difference yeah. and any man watching today any single man i hope this helps you the clear distinction there is nothing wrong with giving because even you cannot love without giving but that should not be the sole purpose somebody dates you today okay. because the difference between a gold digger and a gold carrier if you meet a gold digger today they want to know what you drive but a gold carrier wants to know what drives you. A gold digger wants to know where you live. A gold carrier wants to know what lives in you. A gold digger wants to really focus on where you come from. But a gold carrier wants to know where you are going. A gold digger, you know, wants to know what you drive. A gold carrier wants to know what drives you. Are you getting me? A gold digger will want to know the size of your television, but a gold carrier wants to know the size of your vision. And I always say, if you leave the man with the vision, for the man with the television, you will soon watch the man with the vision on the man's television. Are you getting me? I got you. Yeah. So <laughs> Loud and clear. Gold diggers. So that is the first category of women. Gold diggers. Okay. And I always tell the ladies, before you can talk a man about affording you, afford yourself first. You know, because you have a generation of women that are like, you know, can he afford me? So, sister, before you talk about a man affording you first, can you afford yourself? You know, so... Wanaume, and Kenny, Natasha for president, Natasha for president, Natasha for president. Abo do wanaume, and they got oracle, oracle to the world, oracle to the world, oracle. Tu mwane kaniwa, no yo sasa finary. Abo mpigani a boy child. Naona tu hapa, sema powerful, word. Very good. We are yeah. taking notes. Hapo megonga ndipo. Powerful. All right. Powerful. Sawa mku. Orako. Orako. Arudia. We are taking notes, please. Watu wa meamua. Eh, goldiga slewa melemewa. Yeah. Aya. Tumemaliza sari ya madem. Yeah, ya madem. Acha tu ni diltu na hiyo moja. Acha ni ende kwa men. Tuyego mamorio. So, kwa men, I don't know whether I should choose the unbeliever man or the Solomon man. Let me choose the unbeliever man. Ama the Solomon man. What's the difference? Okay. Those are two different. Okay, let me just mention them in short. Okay. For the unbeliever man, this one I'm saying because I believe a lot of young Christian uh, women are watching me. Do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. Somebody whose uh, systems, their life is not shaped by the word. If you're not born again, it means your life is not shaped by the word. If that man is not born again, scratch him out of the list. Even if he's tall, dark, and handsome. You are saying he's Mr. TDH. Tall, dark, and handsome. If he's not born again, he is not right for you. Even if you are saying this man is my BMW, my black man with wisdom. If he is not born again, because your system of belief, you know, you need a man whose value, your values are in sync. <laughs> okay. And the Solomon man, in short, is the. If you look at Solomon, he was polygamous in nature. The Solomon yeah. type of a man is polygamous in nature. He's a womanizer. 
The Solomon type of a man is a heartbreaker. These are the type of men that have that are baby daddies to different uh, baby mamas. Sasa ora ko wewe. Unaribu. Unaribu. Hii kipindi nilikuwa naenda vizuri. Sasa mimi ni vitu wapi? Okay, endelea. The Solomon man is a womanizer, a heartbreaker. He's polygamous in nature. He has multiple baby mamas. Lakini <laughs> sawa tu I will take one for the team. <laughs> Aki lakini hapo. Uh -huh. Si nilikwambia usi reverse basi uh -huh. unirushe chini. Sasa yeah. umenirusha chini ya basi. <laughs> Tusahau sorry ya Solomon man. Let's yeah. move into other conversation. <laughs> Okay, continue. So, yeah. he's a heartbreaker. He's a womanizer. Basically, he's a bina. Yeah. I have to end the <laughs> We get the point, Miss Sawa. <laughs> Guys, I would die for you. <laughs> but the most important thing when it comes to relationship, you know, this is a, one of the most important decisions. Anybody who you marry, actually, or bina, determines if you fail or succeed in life. So what I will say, don't rush. When you rush, you crash. Okay. So let all the single people take their time, study somebody, learn somebody, know their strengths, you know, their weaknesses, <laughs> and design. Goja. Guys, tuweshimiane. Wacheni kuandika kwa comment section of Bina Solomon. Ukiandika hivyo mimi na kuwon. Mita wa block kwa hiki pindi. Ona tu, Obina Solomon, Obina Solomon, Obina Solomon, Solomon Obina. Mimi na wa uon. Mimi si wa weki. Aki enyewe hapo. Ora kwa hapo kidogo. Menifanyia ile kitu. Sasa umenipia jina mupia. Ati man solo. Okay. Sasa, umemaliza hiyo pati ya the man not to. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sasa nisiingie sana hapo yeah, usiwe na kuchama. Wewe unaona kidogo. Ni message tu na natoa yeah. hapa hapa. Ni sawa. Hiyo Yo, <laughs> <laughs> sikei uta edit, utakata hiyo part ya Obina Solomon. <laughs> eh, yeah. yeah, wacha tu pale kwa eh ni ni nini alafu? Yeah. Akisema tu baby. Hapo. <laughs> eh. <laughs> okay, aki. Look, angalia. Angalia venye wanaandika oh shiani. Oh my god, man solo. Solomon oh. man Solomon. Oh na, yani sasa uko ndo sasa. Oh my god. Yani ni simulale. May God show you mercy. Yeah, may God please eh? God forgive them on my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> if you know you throw the first stone. Okay. Mm. Now let's talk about your husband. Uh -huh. A lot of people see you with a gentleman a hot looking guy and they're like ulimtoa wapi sasa tuanzie hapo ehe umesema kwa pamoja for 2 years yes mlitoana wapi uh you know every love story is amazing and sometimes god can use any mysterious ways okay. to connect so even the singles i need them to know there is no particular place that you can meet the love of your life or your god or dance spouse okay. sometimes you can meet them in the most mysterious ways okay. and uh, for us I thank God for social media. Okay. Because that was our first contact place. So social Insta media Instagram. Ali slide kwa DM. Ali slide kwa DM. Manega manega. Was was the Akai mtu atamejua Instagram? No. Ali slide kwa DM. Okay, what happened? Remember he has never been to Africa. I've okay. never been. I also never been to India. And uh, so by the time that uh, Ali niandikia for 2 years kabla sijajibu. Hey baby. Eh? Hey honey. Sio hizo. Zile tu. Umesema is from India. How are you to much? What a Facebook to mejama DMs za India. Hey baby. Hey honey. Hakuja na hizo? No, yeye alikuwa zile za you know woman of God as you are have as you are traveling I cover you. You know so is a man of God. So alikuja tu na hizo rhymes. You are oh. looking good, keep shining. But of course it was a long time because it takes a long time also 